Hey BB family, what's up and welcome back to our channel. I am so excited to be finally making this video. As you all know, Alex, Olivia and I went back to visit my family in the United States about a month ago now, I think. And while I was there, I went makeup shopping. <laughs> of course! I have been wanting to share with all of you all of the makeup that I bought. I have not been able to open up any of my makeup from America because I've been waiting for this video. So I thought this video could be like an unboxing of the stuff that I bought as well. The video is gonna be in three parts. The first part is gonna be me basically just showing you guys what I got in America and unboxing some of the um, products with you. The second part of the video is gonna be the big giveaway. I bought a lot of goodies for you in America, so I will give you all of the details on that giveaway. The third part is gonna be something you guys keep asking me about over and over again is what's going on with my hair? <laughs> if you're following me on Instagram, you see that sometimes my hair is long. Sometimes my hair is short. Um, I have discovered something that I am having so much fun with and I, I don't know, I think I'll finally tell you guys what's going on there. Today I'm only going to cover the first part because I got so much great stuff in America and I really want to take the time to show you guys what I got. So today's video is only going to be part one. So it might be a little bit of a long video but let's have fun. First of all, I went ahead and bought myself four eyeshadow palettes. Now, as you all know, I was on a very limited budget. So I thought about it, then I, I realized, well, I'm, I'm really happy with the foundation that I currently use. I'm really happy with my blush. I have a few blushes. I'm pretty happy with those. Um, my eyelashes, I love these eyelashes. I use a Japanese brand. And I thought, well, there's, you know, the only thing that really, really gets me excited is buying eyeshadow, actually. So I did buy a few eyeshadow palettes. And actually, I had totally forgotten, but a few months ago, I had also bought some eyeshadow brushes. So I told Taka, it doesn't count as this part of the budget because I had already purchased it in the past. So I did get some eye, uh, some eye brushes as well. I also got three lipsticks, one that I'm wearing right now that I'm absolutely loving, loving, and then two other like new, like it's a Sephora, they're Sephora brand lipsticks, and they, they were really nice. So. First, let me show you the palettes that I bought. Now this time, when I went into Sephora, I thought, I need pinks. I don't have a lot of pinks or, or mauves or anything. So I thought, okay, I'm gonna go and look for some nice pink colors. But what I realized is that there are not a lot of palettes that really focus on pink right now, except for this brand called Huda Beauty. <laughs> And I have been eyeing this brand for a while now because I had seen her, um, of course I've seen her YouTube channel and I, I've seen a lot of influencers use her products and the quality looks really, really good. So I thought, okay, why not buy myself a Huda palette? I did buy four of them and they are a little pricey, oh, but they are so, so beautiful. Even the packaging is gorgeous. I'm so excited. Here we go. So it's called the Rose Gold Palette Remastered. Look at this. I'm totally gonna try to do that. There's like a film here, the big, big mirror, which is nice. Ah, the colors are so pretty. They're so pretty. These are so beautiful, you guys. These are so beautiful. So there are a lot of metallic colors, some beautiful like matte pinks here, a lot of gold, a pink gold. Like I love pink gold. And they even have something that's a little bit more like wine colored here. That's, I mean, that's great too. Here's what's nice is they have a lot of like base colors for, you know, layering the eyeshadow. So it, it's kind of got everything. This is so beautiful. I cannot wait to, to try this. Then I bought another Huda Beauty product. This one's called Nude. <laughs> These are so cool. <laughs> I've never seen colors like this, never. Look at these colors. 
I'm actually speechless. Like this is, these are gorgeous. But here's the thing is, look how many base colors she has that are like rosier, that are pink. And, oh, this is such an exciting palette. I'm, I'm really curious about this one. Oh, it's soft. Oh my God, it's so pretty. This one too, I don't know what the deal is with this. They're really soft. It, oh. They're like foil colors, I, I see. Why don't we just try one more? <laughs> Let's try that one right there. Oh, wowza. I don't know how you, don't know how you would do this. <laughs> this one's called Ruby Obsessions. This one's more like wine colors, but I love, she's really good with like the rose golds I've noticed. And finally, the last palette that I bought, which was a splurge. This was a splurge. But I have never seen a palette like this. It's from Tarte and it's called Rainforest of the Sea. First of all, the packaging is the most beautiful packaging I've ever seen in, a, like in any beauty product. It's a sea turtle, but there's water in here. Isn't that beautiful? Like that is, that is gorgeous. And as many of you know, this is my favorite color in the world. So that helps. When I open it, it goes like, oh. Look at these colors, you guys. You know what it is? It's this color. This color right here. Like I said, it's my favorite color and it's metallic. Again, these are like foils almost. They're really, really strong. And I did swatch these at Sephora and I loved them. I also love that you're getting all these like base colors too. And then I thought I could use this one maybe as a blush also because it's such a pretty pink. This one can certainly be used like as a highlighter. So, I mean, it's a great palette. I don't think I went overboard. I'm definitely gonna use all of these and I was in the mood for mauve colors and pinks. So this was, this was fine. I was still within budget overall. Now the brushes. I bought myself five brushes. I don't know if you can buy them anywhere in Japan, but I think it's pretty common knowledge that Sigma is probably the best brand for brushes. I did get an E35, which has a very, very, very fluffy like head, I guess. It's really, really, really good for blending. Like any mistake can be fixed with this brush. This one is actually more for the crease. So if you put like a darker color right in the crease and you want to blend it out, this is supposed to be like a crease brush. The end is very fluffy, but this, this part is a little bit tighter. So it really lets you kind of like get in there. Then I got an E43. We would call this a domed brush. What this does is if you have like, if you put some like dark color in here and you want to just blend it like all out, I guess it's, it's like a crease brush also, but it really lets you go like throughout the whole eye. It's hard to see, but uh, it's actually got, it's all, it's got a very, very short head and it's very, very dense. So it's really good again for blending, but if you want to like a precise spot. I already own one of these brushes. It's similar to the E35, I guess, the Sigma E35. So it's not really, really super dense down here, uh, but it's not super fluffy either. And it's very, very soft. I already own a few IT Cosmetics brushes and they're fantastic. I wash them and wash them and they're fine. These are great. If you go to Hawaii or to America, and you can go to an Ulta, stop by their IT Cosmetics um, brush section. Anything you buy is gonna be good. I've never gone wrong with an IT Cosmetics brush. Now finally, the lipsticks. I got a Huda Beauty lipstick. The other day, I wore this to a TV shoot, which I'm not supposed to tell you guys about. It's already been, it already aired. We were on TV, yay! Well anyways, I put it on at one o'clock. I put this on at one o'clock and I kid you not, at about seven o'clock, I still had plenty of color on my lips. Obviously it wasn't very glossy anymore, but all I had to do was keep reapplying the gloss. The other two that I bought are Sephora lipsticks. This one's a little bit pinker. 
Okay, so that's about it. That's what I bought in America. Since part one is so, so, so long, I'm gonna stop here, I'm very sorry, and I'm gonna put part two up as a separate video. And don't forget to follow us on Instagram as well because I think I'm gonna be doing a lot of these like makeup kind of videos because you can do like videos on Instagram. Have a great day and we will see you next time, bye.